We appreciate your interest in considering the Watchman device for the treatment of atrial fibrillation in patients that aren't able to take anticoagulants. If you qualify for this procedure, this is a procedure that is done within the hospital. You will undergo general anesthetic. We will then seek to get access in the right femoral vein, take a catheter up into the venous system, and go up just past the heart, at which point we will get our equipment ready in our attempt to get into the left side of the heart. The appendage, which is the area of our concern and the area we want to obliterate, is on the left side of the heart, and so we'll need to cross over into the left side of the heart. We do this with what's called a transeptal catheter. The catheter will help us locate a spot where the tissue is relatively thin between the right and left part of the heart. We'll then cross the septum with a needle and then pass our catheter into the left side of the heart. At this point, we push the catheter and our wire into what's called the pulmonary vein, which is a good landing zone for this relatively large catheter. As you can see, the appendage lies below the pulmonary vein. There are different types of appendages, which is apparent and is very important to us as we attempt to determine what size device to use. At this point, we replace the catheter with what's called a pigtail catheter, and we navigate ourselves into the appendage at which time we make appropriate pictures to determine the size of the appendage as well as the shape. At the same time, our colleagues who do the imaging with the transesophageal echo are confirming the same things in regards to size and shape. As you can see, the catheter is marked and helps us determine the size of the device we need. At this point, we take a confirmatory picture of the appendage with contrast dye and then pick out the right size device to use. The device is then loaded through the leg, through the catheter, up into the appendage. At all times, the device is tethered so that if we have any difficulty with the location, we can pull the device out. The device is then placed deep into the appendage, and as it's slowly removed, it opens up. The device is made of nitinol and has a PTFE covering that initially is permeable and allows blood to flow back and forth. Over a period of about 30 days, the device uh, gets tissue over it and now no longer will allow blood flow from the appendage back into the left atrium and hopefully therefore prevents clots from going back into the central system. As mentioned, the device is tethered the entire time. If we feel comfortable with the position, there's no leaks and it's well positioned, we release it. At this point, the patient's able to go home the following day. They are on Coumadin for approximately 30 to 45 days. At this point, we get an echo, and if the device looks good, they just go down to a baby aspirin and Plavix per day for a total of six months, and then just down to a baby aspirin.